right. What is good guys and welcome to today's video. We are taking everything to the machine shop. And I've got some stuff to tell you about the new crank and a different block we're using and yeah. Long nose, short nose cranks don't work and uh, they aren't interchangeable it seems. So we're going with the block that I pulled apart from Chris. This one has the nice long nose crank, which is much better for dealing with the whole crank wobble situation. We're gonna get everything hot tanked, everything checked, making sure this crank is all good. Sending the head out as well to get decked and checked out. Um, yeah, I wanted to do things properly. I kind of thought about it for a while and then when I realized that this crank doesn't match with the other short nose crank block, I was kind of like, let's just take it all to the machine shop. They got no work going on right now because of the whole coronavirus, so good turnaround times. Never been better timing to rebuild an engine in my opinion let's get to it what is that how is that, is that stuff you see in australia no what is that that is not legal whatsoever that's definitely legal here in florida no that can't be legal florida in florida it's got a cage it's got light it doesn't legal. dude did you he's cut out the whole rear end that's okay and he's just like welded a bar in to hold the roof up so it doesn't fold down but he's got an airbag in the steering wheel, so it's totally fine. There's no airbag in that. You know there isn't. My gosh. Anything can be registered at Flor in Florida. Oh, yeah. You know it. Dropped everything off at the machine shop. These guys will give us a call in a couple days. I'm excited. So back at the workshop now, and I'm so excited that we were able to get everything to a machinist that has enough time in their schedule and everything to get everything back to me in the next couple days, which is awesome. And when the Conrods and Pistons arrive, we'll be taking them to him to get spun up and balanced and everything like that and checked so that then when I it comes to assembling everything back here, we're gonna be perfect. Um, just being able to hot tank the um, block and everything like that is super important as well. And uh, kind of, I guess, like I said at the start, I wanted to go into a bit of detail. Um, we tried putting the long nose crank that came out of the block that came from Chris into the short nose crank block and things just didn't look right and were not looking good. So I just was like, you know what, this block's probably fine. We're sending it to a machinist anyway, so um, we'll be able to get things decked properly and cleaned out and everything. So it should be okay. Um, so that aside, the, the best news is, is we've got a long nose crank, which means we should get uh, no crank wobble or anything like that. That was like the whole point of the long nose crank, I believe, with Mazda. But anyways, that aside, enough talking. We have some cool parts that are arrived for the build, so let me show you what's arrived. I figured instead of doing the whole one-handed box opening thing, we'd try this, but we got this little box here. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but and I think you guys are gonna be really excited to see this. This is going on the Miata, which is gonna help improve a bunch of stuff with cooling. Um, I did kind of talk about getting one of these and it came so quickly, it's insane. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Okay, first of all, thermostat, brand new. Packaging out of here. Oh yeah. What is this, a silicon coolant hose? And look how long that is, so you can probably already tell what this is. Instructions from Super Miata. There's a nice Super Miata sticker. You guys already know, if you're into Miatas, you know what this is. Man, they even include some gasket maker and everything with their fittings, so you don't make any mistakes. And then here. Oh, yeah. This is the most exciting part. Everything, the reroute kit, all billet. It is orange, so we're gonna probably get this all powder coated pink to go with the engine build or just silver. But everything here to reroute and do the coolant bypass so that nothing goes through the front of the head back into the radiator. It's gonna go through the front, out the back, and around back into the radiator. So normally on Miata's, the biggest issue with them cooling wise is that um, everything goes in and out from the front of the head, which is just really weird, which is why three and four, like, you know, you always get overheating issues. So like, let me show you, these are all billet alloy pieces. The only thing I wish is that they wasn't all orange. That's kind of a bit of a drag, but um, I guess it's fine. You know, we're just doing things kind of color coordinated. So I'm gonna probably get these powder coated by James, maybe black, silver, or pink. You're not gonna really see most of it because um, it's all covered by the engine and stuff, but still I'd like to kind of like get this looking nice. We'll see what it looks like with the orange. I may even end up keeping it that because it looks good, but we'll see. Anyways, nice billet parts, coolant reroute kit. That's that done. So I thought I had another box and uh, it, it turns out it was stuff for Chris. So I can't obviously unbox that and show that to you guys. But what I do want to talk to you guys about is 
the pistons and stuff like that. So remember in the last video, I was like, if any of you guys need these parts, just send me a DM and let me know. And heaps of you, and I mean like literally heaps of you were DMing me and saying, Sam, just throw the pistons and conrons on your site. We wanna buy them with your signature and stuff on them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put them all up on the site, the piston and the conrod together. We're gonna ship them out. I'm gonna do just like $20 USD for each one, which will include shipping. And I'm gonna sign each and every one of them. Um, I also put in the notes section if you buy them, um, whether or not you want Chris to sign them as well, happy to do that. Marcus as well would be down for that. So just let us know, we'll do that for you. Um, there's obviously only going to be eight available. So eight pistons and conrods. Go to summit.net forward slash shop and get them now. While you're there, grab some stickers as well because every 500 yen you spend is an entry which is like $4.20 US for the current exchange rate. I know a lot of you have been saying, why is it all in Japanese yen, not USD? And that's because uh, I live in Japan and the site and everything, tax purposes, everything is set up in Japanese currency. So I'm sure you can all understand that. Um, so yeah, get your Miata giveaways. The card's getting better and better as time progresses. It's, I'm actually, it, it's crazy because I started off with just like, we'll get a cheap Miata, we'll slap a turbo kit on there and we'll be good. But now it's just evolving into this. Uh, well, pretty much I'm a perfectionist and I'm very competitive and I, I, I can't just do a slap together build like that. Um, I have to do things to my standards. So I think you guys will appreciate that. Don't forget, get your Miata giveaway stuff. Let's get up to some shenanigans. All right, we just got back from Walmart because Home Depot is closed. And this is gonna be my um, homemade um, hot tank. <laughs> Dude, that thing is gnarly. It's like a kid's compound bow with these little darts. Anyways, we got a thing of purple power. We're just gonna fill this up with some water. I do have like a water heating element coming that's gonna keep the water in here kind of hot. And what you'll be able to do is just drop stuff in here and come back in it and like, you know, overnight or something and it'll be all perfectly clean. Kind of like a really, it's, it's just like a hot tank, but it's gonna be uh, like parts cleaners and stuff like that as well. I think it's gonna be good, help Chris out, clean up some stuff. So I think he'll like it as well. But uh, I'm gonna throw all of these pistons. Jeez, it nearly hit me on the rebound. Um. I'm gonna hot tank all the pistons and con rods. Uh, today we're just really just hanging out and having a good time. We're watching the Freedom 500 right now. Um, so if you guys, uh, well, I mean, by the time you see this, it'll be too late. Jeez, man, that thing is nuts. Who would give that to their kid? Oh, that is nuts. Anyways, we're waiting for the Freedom 500 to start up. So I'm gonna mess around with this, get this set up, and show you what it looks like. We're not gonna have anything to heat the water today though, or for the next couple days, because for some reason, couldn't find it anywhere except uh, on Amazon, the, the element I needed. Probably because it's kind of dodgy because it's a thing that just sits in the water and you plug in the wall and it heats it up. It's like a bucket water boiler. Oh! That one got stuck. I that hate one got stuck. you, man. I thought that was my head coming off. No, I was laughing. All right, we're all cheering. Who are you guys going for, Adam, Cletus? Um, I'm you just want to see carnage, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. First ad. First ad for the entire stream. Oh yeah, let's get that purple power in there. Oh yeah. There we go, boys. So these are the four. Dropping them in. There we go, we'll come back and get those tomorrow. Although I'm not expecting it to do much just because it's not hot, but it should still do something with all that purple power. Anyways, let's go watch these guys launch off the line. It was about two hours that I had left all the conrods and pistons in my purple power tank. And boy, did she deliver. I haven't finished with them yet. We're gonna soak them some more tomorrow, but I didn't wanna leave this in there overnight in case um, it stripped too much of the alloy off because obviously purple power does kind of eat away at aluminium. But as you can see, look how good these are starting to look. Pretty much all the grease and everything's missing from them. Um, it's cleaned them up like crazy. Some of them definitely need more than others, but like if you look at this one, you can see like all the carbons pretty much all come off there now. I think that one's pretty decent too. Like it's cleaned these up amazing so this means now that i'll be able to ship something that's not going to have oil or anything like that on there for you guys um, and like i said these will be up on the site 
And uh, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, like I'm thinking of even throwing the crank in there. We might even, I don't know if any of you guys want like a signed damaged crank or anything. Uh, at this point, I don't really know. But what I'm really pumped about is just being able to clean things in this. Like when the heating element comes and heats this water up really, really hot, I'll be able to like drop the entire sump in there and that thing will come out brand new and just a whole bunch of other parts, little things and stuff like that. Like if I disassemble that entire oil pump, take all the gears out of it and rebuild it, I can take all like the housing and the parts and stuff, sit it in there for a couple hours, then pull it out and rebuild the whole thing and it'll look brand new. So that's what I'm excited about. Anyways, I may even like experiment and just put this block in there. This is actually a good block and this block is available. If anyone wants it, you can have it for 30 bucks. Just come and pick it up. Um, it'll come with the end caps and everything, but you will need another short nose crank. Um, so yeah, just hit me up on DMs. Please um, don't, I had a bunch of people messaging me asking for it and they were like in Canada and things like that. Um, I can't ship a block to you guys. Um, so please pick up only. And with that, that's kind of it. Um, today's video, probably not like the most craziest um, we didn't definitely didn't really do much, but it was just a super simple day chilling hanging out with friends what watching the freedom 500 and stuff like that So, you know, sometimes you need a day off and uh, this is a vlogging channel I do daily vlogs and stuff like that which shows you my life sometimes it's not always cars It's not always like insane crazy things And I think a lot of you guys actually really appreciate it when I still post even though there's not like crazy entertaining things happening. But I still, I hope you learned something today. I hope you got a cool idea. Go make yourself your own hot tanks. Just be careful and be smart. You're dealing with chemicals, you use gloves and things like that. And uh, with that, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, Jamata. I forgot, smash the like button, leave us a comment. And now really, peace out, Jamata.